Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make watercolor feathers. So let's do it. Okay, so to start I'm going to go over my materials that I'm using. I have Arches watercolor paper. I have my Winsor Newton watercolors that are in my palette. I have my water, my paper towel, and the brush I'm going to be using is a size 6 round brush. Okay, so we're going to be painting feathers. So to start, wet your brush and pick the color that you want. It doesn't have to be the colors I choose. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go with some blues and grays. And you're just going to take a very light wash. So a light wash means more water on your brush than paint. I already have some paint mixed here, so I'm just using a bit of that to do the outline of the feather. So you're going to start with a curved line very slight curve line like that and then you're just gonna go back down leaving some white space in the middle and then as you get closer to the bottom just connect it so there's no white space so you have that little bit of white space down the middle now you're going to make the shape of the feather so pointier at the top and just very rough and then you're gonna do some openings. So like little V's almost. Like that. Just to give the illusion that some of the feather is separated. And then as you get closer to the bottom, you're just gonna bring it back in. Do the same thing on the side, but make it you know, maybe the openings are at different parts. Like so. Just very rough. You don't need it to be perfect because no feather is really perfect. Okay, so there's your feather. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wet the inside of the area, okay? Take your wet brush. I'm going to use a bit of paint just so I can see where I'm putting the water and wet the whole thing inside. But leaving that white space in the middle. Okay, you might want to work a little bit fast just because it tends to dry quickly and you want the whole surface wet. So just make sure that the whole area is wet. And then you're going to choose the colors that you want. I'm going to use an indigo color. And you're going to let watercolor work its magic. So just touching the wet area. leaving that white space in the middle. You can get the stem. And you don't have to color it all in, just kind of take your paint and just let it do its thing, right? You know, maybe you want to add a different color, which is cool, you can do any color. So as you see, I'm not doing the full feather just to give it some cool effects. Kind of make it look like stripes a bit, maybe. But really using that watercolor to let it do its thing, you know, just blending and bleeding and into the wet parts which is what I love about watercolor. Okay. So now that you have that, and you can definitely do more of whatever you like, 
maybe, you know, maybe I'll add a bit of turquoise just for a bit of a lighter, brighter blue in there. Just parts, you can add dots. to make it look interesting. If you have some gold, that could be cool too. Like that. Okay, then I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I have here a size two. And I'm just gonna do little hairs. So, if you see, it's already still wet here, so I'm not really going to put paint on here. I put a little bit of paint, but seeing how wet it is, I don't really need it. And I'm just going to use really light pressure to kind of do some little hairs coming off of it in different directions. And really do like a flicking motion, and then you can kind of gently... Go around the feather. Not too much, but to get some of those little hairs out, or you don't even have to do that. You can just stick with the ones at the bottom. I'm gonna add a bit more darkness along the middle. Again, just make sure that it's still wet and if you have to re-wet it, you could do that. So when I put my paintbrush in my water and then I put it on the paper towel, that's just taking some of the paint off. I'm not taking all of it off, but it's just a way that I take off some of the paint on my brush and some of the water on my brush. Okay, so there is one simple feather. Okay, so the next feather I'm going to show you <clears throat> is more of one with a pattern. So I'm just going to do the same kind of thing that I did before. I'm going to be doing a brown feather this time because I think blue and brown go really nicely together. Make sure this feather is dry before you start working over here if you're doing two on the same page um, just because you don't want to get your hand all covered with paint. <laughs> okay, so start off by making your stem with a really light wash and do a long curve. And leave that white space in the middle. And then connect it at the stem at the bottom. Okay. Do your outline again. And with some openings. They don't have to be the same as the other one. You want them different. You know, just make it very um, rough. You know, I find the more different and rough they look, the better. Don't focus on too much making it. Don't focus too much on making it perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. As you get closer to the bottom, just make it come in a bit more, meeting at the bottom here. And there you go, and now you're just going to wet the whole area again. Now I'm going to leave the top of this feather more white, so that's why I'm using a light wash and I'm just going to leave it that color, but I'm still, when you're painting, <clears throat> trying to make something white. It's never actually just white. You can use a really light wash of a color so it has a little bit of a tint of the color, but by painting the rest around 
the white area, it will give that illusion that it's white just by making the other areas darker. So I'm just using a light wash just so I can see where I'm putting my water around like that. And now I'm going to use my colors. So I'm going to be using some brown. I'm just going to go along the middle. I'm going to add a bit of black to it so it's a bit of a darker brown too. Now you can do the stem. But I want to leave the top here white. Just the kind of feather I'm doing. You know, you can look up inspirations of um, colors of feathers on Google Images or Pinterest or whatever. That's what I do. Just to get some ideas, or you can totally wing it. So, I'm just going to be doing some patterns. But just remember to make sure that your surface area of the feather is wet. So right here, I don't know if you can see, it's already started to dry. So I'm just gonna re-wet that area with some water and some paint, just so when I put paint there, it's not just a blob of paint on top. I want it to blend. I'm just really kind of winging it, doing whatever you feel looks good. There's no wrong way to do this. some dots and now they're gonna they're gonna blend so you can go over them even when it's a little bit more dry Add more water up here just so it kind of pushes away the color a bit and I want to kind of keep that white I'm using the smaller brush to do some feathery details I want to add a bit more black To this and just kind of doing what you like and what you feel. Okay, and then you're going to take your detail brush and drag the color again to make the hairs. Now to make them really thin, you need a small brush, but you also just need to kind of use just a very light pressure and flick at it. <laughs> like that. And if you want to use different colors, you could use paint. I'm just going to extend this stem a bit. And just do some more detail. using the already wet paint to kind of flick out. The little hairs. 
just dragging them out. Now it has to be already wet to do this or you're gonna get kind of just little lines all over. So if you're getting little lines, that's why, maybe why is because your feather is dry, which you just simply have to wet again. Now, because it is drying, I'm gonna go back over and just do a bit more darkness in some places I like. It's really your preference, what you want. Okay, and there you go. There's your other feather. So that's how you make feathers. Give it a try, try out different patterns, different colors, this one has a bit of gold in it, and just be creative with it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys, bye.